this is the deck video of the 2006 Grady White 282 Selfish. It's a 28 foot walk around. Again, 2006 with a bow poppet. It's a total of 30, 30 feet, a little over 30 feet. The seat doesn't go like that. I have it like that so it rinse out since I just washed the boat. So it's nice and clean. Life well, I think it's uh, maybe a 40 gallon, but it's nice size, works well. It's got a brand new pump. This is just uh, insulated storage and more insulated storage here. Pretty large, I don't remember how much is this, but it's pretty large. And also you can see access to the bilge area, okay. That base center down there, the white pump, is a brand new pump for the bay well. Here is your battery controls. Battery switches. Here is another access area with a storage bin where you have access to the fuel filters. And the primer pumps. It's a battery charger there. That's the back of the uh, battery switches. This goes like this so that you see it. This is the rear bench seat. Okay. There's a fresh water wash down here. It's turned off right now, of course. Salt water wash down here. That works well. I have the hose not connected at this point. Storage bins. Some more storage. This is the helm area. Oops. There's the Garmin cover upside down, of course. You know. That, I want to say, is a Eco map, um, nine something is a nine inch. And this is the older 3210 that came original with the boat. It works. I left it there as a backup. And all the gauges in excellent shape. Motor start right up. All right, since there's no water flowing, I turn them right back off. Storage up here with a badass Tender Horizon Matrix AIS GPS radio all in one. It's got AIS as well. If you don't know what that is, look it up. That's an expensive VHF radio, very good. Trim and tilt for both. Individual
I just realized I was out of focus. Individual. Both. The windlass. I'm not gonna operate that. Right there is locked, of course. This one's got the optional bent seat with the gritty white helm seat, as you see. Lights. Those are the lights that I have put on there. Those are for the back lights, spreader lights. Those I haven't upgraded because I barely use them, but they work well. This boat also has got a um, bimini top for the rear with stainless steel tubes. And it covers all the deck area back here. Very nice and comfortable when it is deployed. That was about $1,300 or so. As I mentioned, the boat's got a brand new windlass. I mentioned in the other video, brand new windlass. It's got a brand new AC as well. Brand new anchor road with 300 feet of line. That green light search light is also brand new with a remote control. There's a brand new water heater on the boat as well. What else is new on the boat? This GPS is brand new as well. The radio is brand new. The transducer that came with the GPS is also brand new. The boat is in very good shape. I just made a, uh, a round trip to the Tortugas in November, which was the last time I used the boat, November 2019. And went from the Keys, Big Pine Key, to Dry Tortugas Park, to Fort Jefferson out there and came back again. I want to say that was about uh, about 190 to 100 mile round trip, no issues. And of course, I already showed you in another video this section inside with a mini galley and the head in there. Look up the other video and you'll see it. This boat cruises at around 28 to 30 miles an hour. That's at about 4,000 RPM to 4,100. Full open throttle at uh, 5,500 RPMs, depending on the condition. It's getting you about 43 to 46 miles an hour, depending on the condition, of course, sea conditions. These motors have about 490, 500 hours. These are 2002. The gentleman before me happened to get a deal on a Marlin and the Martin came with these guys, 225s. This one originally had the, twi the twin 250s. So he thought it was best to swap them out to get an extra 50 horsepower for the Martin, which is a bigger and heavier boat. This boat still moves very well with twin 225s. Very well. Ample power, a lot more than what you need. trailer is in excellent shape it's got brand new tires four brand new tires I just put two weeks ago early January and two other tires I put in 2019 this is a spare tire I have two of them they're still in decent shape but not tires that I wanted to be trailering with so I'm using that as a spare. That 
That's a neat anchor as well. Bye, I put a bow stopper here because if you're familiar with launching and retriever, retrieving, I'm sorry, um, both with ball puppets, if you have this guy up here, guess what's gonna happen? This guy is gonna get tangled in here and that is a big inconvenience when you're launching and retrieving a boat especially when you're doing most of the stuff by yourself so that's taken care of with that rig that you saw excuse the mess of course i just washed the boat and this is the best time to take a quick clip of it well hope you've enjoyed it and uh, shoot me a message if you have any questions about this 2006 Grady White Cell Fish 282.